Hi guys, I'm Roman. I'm Frida. And on today's video, we're going to answer all your questions. And if you want to ask us some more, don't forget to click on the comment below. Before getting started, guys, if you did not subscribe yet, don't forget to give us some love and to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We will be posting two videos a week, one on Wednesday and another one on Sunday. So make sure to not miss any of our adventures. The first question, we start with Sarah from Travelo. And if you have not heard about this mobile application, I will put all the details on the comment below. This application is awesome for travelers and it will allow you to meet people from all over the world. Sarah asks, how do we meet? Oh my god, this is a long story, but we're gonna try to make it short. So we met back in 2013 when I was traveling to, uh, to Malaysia. So I was on my way to New Zealand because I was working in New Zealand, but I met Fiza on a website called Travel Buddy. Travel Buddy does not exist anymore. Unfortunately, this was an awesome website for, for travelers. But we met on this website and I sent a message to, to Fiza saying that I, I wanted to, um, to go to, to Malaysia and was, uh, I wanted to meet someone there to, to show me around and Fiza invited me to, to stay at a place for, for two days because she was already on, on couch surfing uh, as well so she said come to my place you can stay for for two days and two days um, went up to one month and we fell in love in, a, in one month and after a month I went back to, uh, to New Zealand because I was working there and I asked Visa to, to join me there yes. and uh, Visa had a good job she just just bought a car just before to, to meet me but um, when I asked her to come she said yes I'm coming and three months later she joined me in New Zealand and she quit her job sold the car and she got very lucky to get sponsored in, a, in New Zealand as well and uh, after a month I just proposed to Fiza and three years later we got married. Then we have a question from our friend in the US, Dina, who is also a travel YouTuber. <laughs> and if you have not seen her video yet, we will put all the details on the description below. So how did we decide to uh, start on YouTube and how do we keep consistent with the upload? I always wanted to start a YouTube channel and I even started one back in 2008 while traveling to Vietnam on the channel called Le Dodo Trotter. But at, did ta at that time, I had like a crappy point-to-shoot camera, a two gigabyte storage. I did not even have a, a laptop and I did not know anything about editing. I guess that I was not ready at that time. When the pandemic started in, uh, in Malaysia, uh, I lost my uh, photography business. My photography business just went downhill and I didn't get any jobs for uh, five months. So it was, it was a total nightmare. And uh, I said to Fiza, why don't we start a YouTube channel and try to work on it and to take it seriously? and she was on board and I started watching a lot and lots of uh, YouTube channel and uh, learning how to edit because I had absolutely no clue how to edit. I just download the, the Premiere Pro and spend hours and hours and hours on trying to, to learn and our YouTube channel was born. How do we keep consistent with the upload? Yes, if you want to start a YouTube channel, you need to be consistent with the upload. You can't just post a video every two months and expect to grow on your channel. To be consistent with your upload, you need to take it seriously and try to find new ideas every week. A question now from Never Ending Track on Instagram. How many countries have we been? <laughs> hey baby! The first time that I went traveling was in 2009 while visiting Australia and I have now visited eight countries and even work in New Zealand for five years. So far, I traveled across 39 countries. I worked in eight of them and even cycled 21,000 kilometers across 16 countries. And if you're interested, you can download your free ebook on our website below. 148 pages of beautiful images. 
I've also posted a few videos of my cycling trip, so don't miss them out. Then we have a question from Kelby and Adam on YouTube asking, What is our favorite place? For me, just a Pohantian island because I can sunbathing, get tan, snorkeling, island hopping that I love the most. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's a bit complicated because there is so many places that I really, really like. But if I had to choose, I would say Mongolia and Nepal. Mongolia because I went there in 2015 with my friend and we cycled across the, the Gobi Desert and it was one of the most challenging experience of my life. And for this reason, Mongolia had to be on the, on the list. The second country, Nepal. Nepal, I went there in 2008 and I stayed uh, almost three months in Nepal. So I really, really liked Nepal. And I went hiking in Nepal. I even worked in an NGO farm in the middle of nowhere. I spent 10 days in the temple doing meditation with the, the Vipassana. I don't know if you, if you know the Vipassana. And I love Nepal. And I really hope that one day we can go together. Oh, of course. <laughs> Our friend from Malaysia, Jacqueline, asks, what does Roman like about Malaysia and which place that he liked the most? Of course, the first thing I love about Malaysia is my Malaysian wife. I went to Malaysia almost 10 times before I met Fiza and anyone that visits Malaysia will tell you one thing. Malaysians love food. And they are crazy about food. They can even travel 50 kilometers to go to their favorite restaurant. My favorite place, or should I say our favorite place, yeah. must be the, the Perentian Island. It's located um, around 500 kilometers, 400 kilometers yeah. on the east coast of, uh, of Malaysia and this is the best place for a getaway. You can uh, snorkel, you can go diving and chill out on the beach. Perfect place to chill out. Yeah. And they call it as um, Maldive Malaysia. Maldive Malaysia. So you must visit it if you come to Malaysia. And the last question of today is, what kind of music do we like? When it comes to music, I'm very eclectic. I really like all sorts kind of music, from reggae to jazz to soul and even classic music. I like all kinds of music, but my favorite is R&B, soul and jazz. Same as me. <laughs> if you want to know more about us or if you have any more questions, just comment below and it will be a pleasure for us to answer all your questions. Do not forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell and we will see you on the next video. Bye bye!